what I do, ladies and gentlemen, we have Hitman and Bro on something too. Keep in mind, tank tops until like probably for the next couple of weeks, cause bro, it is literally like a freaking sauna in my room. Okay, it's hot as hell. Um, anyways, we left off when, to be fair with you, I have no clue. Okay, I remember uh, Yami was beating up the. Oh, he was fighting the Phantom Knight, and if I remember, oh, okay, now I remember. Now it's coming. Now it's all coming back. He beat up the Phantom Knight. Phantom Knight got betrayed. Um, the. I gotta remember his name at some point. I'm probably gonna remember his name after the fight, uh, cause I I've not heard his name in a minute. But the guy that has like the long green hair, and he had like the, the eyeshadow, whatever his name is, um, he betrayed the Phantom Knight, basically killed him. And I, I'm assuming now they're gonna be fighting him two on one, uh, excluding Goku, cause he's supposed to be defending Shochi and Spanner. So yeah, um, until then, if you're not watching on Patreon, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and also you can also in the comment section below with all that being said. That's episode, man. Oh yeah, by the way, um, the. The quality is going to be a little iffy because every website known to mankind is just not working. Um, so we're going to have to deal with this. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's better than nothing, okay? I'm trying my best, guys. I really am. All right. Yeah, bro, the quality is just it's not it, but it is what it is, man. We're going to have to live with this at this point in time. In a situation where you have like this much of an advantage, it would be horrible to lose. I ain't going to lie to you. I'd be pissed. Everyone just on sidelines. Hey, buddy, bro, like make some friends, man. God damn, he just, <laughs> he just in the hallway by himself. So they're like the refreshment crew. <laughs> That's why they got the different suits. Yes, sir. Bro, this is reminding me too much of basketball, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, we got embarrassed in the fucking finals, man. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'm getting depressed all over again, bro. The slander on my team that's about to be coming up for the next month, two months, is gonna be unbearable. Oh, oh well, I guess it is what it is. Bro, Yami looks so fucking hard, I ain't gonna lie. That shit clean as I just never imagined him like just being able to fight by himself. Not fight, I don't want to say fly by himself. So Kiki was literally just flying around doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> why is he... Why is he so damn confident? What the hell do you know, bro? Why are you so confident, bro? What What the hell do you know? I just noticed also... Um, can he not move or does he have to stay in one place? Was that a fake location too? What? Something also tells me, by the way, um, regardless, even if Byakura lost, I get the odd feeling that I don't think he gives a f <laughs> I genuinely do believe that even if he loses this, he's still not gonna freaking give up. Like, why would he do that? You know what I mean? So I feel like this is just all like a little game to him. I still do not believe that he's just gonna simply just give up. What? See, I don't know what the hell he means by that. So he could be meaning, so he could be talking about two different things right here. He could be saying essentially that one, um, we're just not trying, right? And that they could basically just end this whole tournament with like uh, the fucking blink of their eye, right? Or two, he's basically saying that regardless of the outcome of this tournament, he's still gonna do what the hell he's gonna do, right? So I don't know which one it is though. Like, is he basically saying that he's just like they're just they're not even trying at this point? Like they're just going easy on these motherfuckers, bro? Or is he saying that Beckham's not caring about none of these rules? I'm going for the second one. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. What do you mean by that? Yo, he's so cold, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> His design is just clean to me. I love that design. I mean, now that I know that, he's not a girl, obviously, bro. <laughs> That's crazy to me. I can't believe it. Wait, what? What? So, are they moving or... Yo, I don't know. What is happening? He's throwing out their navigation systems then. Uh-oh. Oh my God. Is he an illusion? There's no way, right? Wait. Are they an illusion? No way. Oh no. What is this? Uh, really? I don't like the. I don't, bro. Why is he by himself? I do not like the fact that he's by himself, bro. Please stop. Please stop. Why is he by himself? Oh lord have mercy. Please don't go by yourself, bro. Don't go in by yourself. Thank God. Oh my God. Thank you. I don't like this, bro. Cause I feel like they're separating them. Oh, that's not good, bro. Uh, I don't like this, bro. Something about it is just off. I can't. I can't place what it is. What is so damn funny, bro? Now what? What that mean? You know, you still got time. Oh my God! I wait. Is it him or is it someone else? That kick you, man. <laughs> I mean, you can literally just call him Kikyo. Is he here? Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, he's making a straight beeline to exactly where they are. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. See, this is what I was scared of. This is what I was afraid of, bro. 
He has to go, go ahead, bro. Oh, that's not good, bro. That's not good. That's not good. But then again, I guess they do also have Goku um, as a last line of defense, right? Okay, so that is him. Watch him smile, bro. Watch him smile. I promise you. In one second, he's going to be smiling. What do you know, bro? Where the hell is Goku at? Hello? Goku, hello? There you are. Goddamn. I wish we didn't have to... Bro. God, I, I wish that they didn't have to resort to this. This is so... This is supposed to be like our last line of defense. And literally, if he gets past him, again, GG, it's game over. Also, where the hell is Suna? I don't know what the hell they did to freaking basically separate Suna and Yami. And that's the thing I was kind of scared of, bro. Because if you're in a situation like, situation like this where it's like you have two people that are able to take out the opponent or whatever... The best thing that you can possibly do in that situation is get those two people together and then basically take on the last challenge together, right? That is your advantage. But if you basically separate them and then turn it from basically a two on one to a one on one situation, like that, your basically your advantage just goes out the window, which is really pissing me off. And like now, oh my god, that's actually so not good, bro. I mean, maybe, maybe yeah, Goku can beat him, but again, the likelihood of that happening is like, who the hell knows? You know what I mean? There he is. Oh my god. Oh boy. Why are you saying that, bro? I hate when they do that, bro. I I genuinely hate when they do that. Because it's like, yo, every time, it, it just feels like they're just jinxing themselves. And it really just throws me off. Why, why would you say that? Maybe just confident in his abilities. But again, who the hell knows? Oh my god, bro. I mean, he's right there. What do you mean? <laughs> he's not close. He's right there. This is actually still crazy to me too, the fact that they all know actually. <laughs> that is wild. Oh, we must have faith. <clears throat> we must have faith. Yeah, he can't help him. Yep. This is exactly what Luca felt like in game, what was that, game three? I think it was game three where he was like, found out towards the end. Oh, yo, I'm getting PTSD from the goddamn finals, bro, this year. Oh my god, bro. God, bro, we got embarrassed in front of national television, bro. God damn. Even, bro, even Hibai will be able to help too. God damn it. Well, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Can't, what the f <laughs> Damn, he's fast! Uh, what the? Yo, that, bro, the quality is so ass, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? Yo, I just was. Why did they all have, like, these little gems on top of their heads? Oh, f No, you did not, bro. Yeah, that's not good. Damn. Yo, Goku. I, I know you're smart and everything, bro, but please, come on, man. You you gotta use your brain. Bro, what is this zesty ass dude, bro? <laughs> like, back up. You're too close. Oh, my God. Yo, he's fast as hell, though. I gotta, like, goddamn. Is he, bro, is he okay? Yo, cat, bro. Pay attention, bro. What happened? <laughs> so cute. You gotta be joking, bro. This is not the time for this. Lambo, bro. <laughs> what? Nah, bro. This is not time to be messing around. Ain't no way in hell, bro. He is fast as hell, bro. God, I did not think he was like that. The thing that really throws me off, by the way, too, is as well the fact that... Um, oh, I forgot about that. The Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, the thing that really throws me off the fact is the fact that he's, he has the same uh, color flames as his body, bro. And to me, I feel like, bro, if you if you go wrap that blue, bro, or purple in this case, you you gotta be tough, man. I feel like, he, I feel like he's tough. I can't even hate. I can't, I can't even hate. Okay, bro. That, that shit hard. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yo. Oh, God. No, 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 no. What the f*** is happening, bro? What, what are we doing? Yo. What? Oh, no, bro. I knew he was going to be tough. What, bro? Oh. F no, bro. Vines? Bro. Hand? Vines, rip that shit off, uh, bro. You got me fucked up. Are you, I mean, unless they're like freaking reinforcing some shit. Hell no. Oh yeah, see, th th this is the worst case scenario, bro. Worst case scenario. Oh my fucking god, this is so bad. This is bad. Like this is actually horrible. This is genuinely fucking terrible. Oh my god, this is actually so bad. Yo. <laughs> Ain't no, f you are, bro. That I can't even call him useless because he got. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Pause. Not like that, but again. No, 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 no. That's, that's so bad. That is literally the worst case scenario, bro. They gotta make sure that they... What do you mean, no? 
What happened? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're doomed. I knew it. See, I knew it was too good to be true. Everything was going too well. Then what the hell's going on? It's, I knew it. He was an illusion, isn't it? It's an illusion. Bro, he's on Rogenjutsu. It's not real. I knew it. I literally knew on everything that I knew, bro. I knew it. I knew it. Why does it look purple? It is purple. Is that Kikyo's thing? What is that? I knew it. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I, li I literally, I literally knew it. Oh my god. No way. It's, is it the Phantom Knight? He's still alive. No way. No, 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 no. It's not him. It's not him. Was it fake? What the hell is a codec? Who? Oh, I I literally said it. I, I literally said that shit ended too fucking fast. I, I, bro, I knew. I knew he wasn't dead, bro. I knew he wasn't dead. Bro, what were my exact words, bro? I do not believe in anyone dying in goddamn anime. Unless I literally see the body. I, I literally, I dead ass knew he was dead. I knew he wasn't dead. I knew he wasn't dead, bro. I knew he wasn't dead. On oh, God, I literally said, didn't he just die a little too fast? I knew it. Bro, I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew I was not tripping, bro. And that's what I've been saying the entire goddamn time. It's literally over. Yo, this is so horrible. That's so bad. Can he fight? Oh my God. First of all, hey, watch his home, bro. <laughs> he's trying his best. But I also feel like he's pretty strong too. The thing is, this would be a fucking guaranteed win situation right here, right? If it wasn't for the fact that he's a, 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 a ring user too. The only issue here is, this dude right here is a freaking ring user. He's not, he's, he's not useless, okay? If it, okay, I'm not, I'm not calling uh, Shochi and freaking uh, Spanner useless, right? I'm saying in like a one-on-one -on -one situation against a, a motherfucker that has a ring and I can actually fight, it's kind of like a lopsided battle. But in this case right here, basically you have freaking Kikyo fighting, uh, it, well essentially just Shochi honestly, because uh, Shochi is the actual target right now. Like, that is a lopsided battle in favor of Kikyo. In this situation right here with Yami versus uh, Puppy Dude right here, it's kind of like you don't even freaking know who can win. Because unless he can't fight back, if he can fight back, it's over. It's literally over, okay? And on top of that, not only do you lose this freaking thing, you lose an easy ass, what could have been an easy ass freaking uh, win, where it was quote unquote two on one situation. Like, it's just, it's just like, it's, it's bad in every single way, bro. If he can fight, this is over, bro. If he can fight, oh, that was kind of hard, though. If, if I had good. Yeah, bro. And on top of that, there's a freaking... They have a barrier. Why am, I, why am I not surprised, bro? This is not good. Uh, is he like a fucking mastermind? Is, is this dude Aizen or something? What? So you mean to tell me this dude right here is just like, what? what is he just Aizen? He can just see into the future or some shit? So you mean to tell me not only did he... Well, actually, he didn't really do nothing against uh, Tsuna because Tsuna just caught in the trap by himself. But he basically found the base, essentially found a way to neutralize Goku without wasting any time. And on top of that, set a barrier. Who the fuck is this dude, bro? Who, who is he? Hello? Who are you? He's just, he's just able to do everything. What did he just say? To charge flame energy. Oh. It can hold him for two minutes. So that means that Kikyo has two minutes to basically find Shoji. Well, the base, to be honest with you, it's not really finding a base. If you know exactly where it is, all you gotta do is just keep going straight. <laughs> That's pretty much over. Um, And then, so basically he has two minutes to find the base and then on, on top of that, uh, get rid of the flame on uh, Shoji. I mean, if Shochi and them have like uh, backup suits, the gold mask that, that Spanner was using, maybe. But as it stands right now, bro, it's not looking too good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Goddamn, bro. See, now if he had freaking suit in this situation right here, they could probably cut that shit into like, a minute. Yeah, bro. He's just, I don't fucking know, bro. He's just apparently just a genius. Of course. I mean, it, it was just too, it was too easy, bro. Literally, it was too good to be true. Too many things were going right for us. I mean, his, you mean his target? By his target, you mean you, right? Because you are the target. Damn, bro. I mean, hey, man. Fuck it. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Time to clutch your shit up, though. Somehow, somewhere, you gotta figure something out. Maybe they have a barrier of their own, right? Damn, that's so annoying. God damn it. So basically, he can't really fight, can he? I mean, if Suna somehow got out of this illusion, it would kind of cut the time in half. Yo, this is crazy though. <laughs> Everyone is just flying to the freaking targets like Iron Man. Who is that? Kikyo? Yeah. There he is. Now, how long can you freaking hold him out for? Is the question here. Hmm? Ooh, hold on a second. Did you get him? Yo, you might, you might want to like be careful though, because if he dodges that and you're basically outputting everything, you kind of lose a lot of power. Damn! So he's able to just use barriers everywhere, huh? 
That shit look clean as that. God damn. Okay. Yo, hold on. I actually like this dude. I mean, what the hell is that? Okay, never mind, bro. He just overpowered. <laughs> I don't know who this dude is, but he just mad strong. Wow. Just like that. So you mean tell me he's, he's able to neutralize every goddamn box up and that's anywhere near him. He has an insane freaking vehicle attack. Nah, vehicle attack. I, bro, I'm tripping. <laughs> he has an... Ooh, it can move? Good shit. Damn, bro. Yo, Suna, worry about yourself, bro. <laughs> just worry about yourself right now, okay? It's actually mad... God damn, bro. I mean, I feel like worst case scenario, I don't know if you can, like, just, just abandon the base, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, if you ha if they had, like, uh, a motorcycle or some shit, right? They could just room room away, you know what I mean? Uh, just waste, basically uh, waste as much time as they can. Damn, bro. But I don't think that's the case. I don't even know if you can do that. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, all he has to do is basically waste time. Yeah, like literally, just that's, that's basically all he has to do. If only there was a way to get him out of that Genjutsu, bro. Yo, hey, don't blame yourself. <laughs> don't be too mad, bro. Don't be too mad. It's okay, man. It's okay. I mean, it's not looking too good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I still got some faith. Man, I knew he wasn't dead, bro. I swear to God, I knew he wasn't dead. On everything that I knew he wasn't dead, bro. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you're not escaping this one, bro. <laughs> it don't matter how fast you think you're going, bro. It's, it's over, man. Yeah, no, it's 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 over, man. It's over. I, like literally everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. It's crazy. I don't want to get spoiled, honestly. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh wow. Am I surprised? No, honestly, no. Like I said, bro. I, it's like, bro. Something inside, like something in, on the back of my mind. I'm like, bro. There is no way that he's dead, bro. There's. There, I, I knew it was just too easy, bro. It was done within like goddamn. An episode and a half or two episodes, bro. Like, I'm like, bro, they, he just looks, bro, it might, but uh, listen, this, this might be a little glaze, I ain't gonna see, bro. But I was like, bro, he just looks too close to be, like, just done like that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I have literally no clue how they're looking at this, man. Like, genuinely, this is, like, probably one of the worst case scenarios you could possibly be in. Like, you have a, a, a chance to basically end the whole, um, uh, not the whole thing, but end this round, essentially, with, like, a guaranteed win by being up 2-1. And then, not only do you get bamboozled, but you basically get, like, the freaking rug just, like, swept right under your foot. Um, it was just, it was like right there for the taking, and then just like that, like you're, you're like you're, you're now all of a sudden you're the underdog, and you have like basically no advantage whatsoever. Um, I mean, shit, who knows? Maybe freaking soon will find a way to get out again, just and get to Yami in time for, um, before Kiku gets to Shoji. But I really don't even know how that would happen. But again, blind faith, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, blind faith. Damn, that's that, that's that's tough, man. That's tough. And the thing is, you can't really blame Shoji and uh, Spanner because they came with they came up with a surefire plan. Everything was going dead ass according to plan. If only, if only that dude that Tsuna beat actually stayed down, like they would want, they would want the round. And this Kikyo dude is just mad, freaking. I don't think he's just. I don't even know. I don't know if he he came up with the plan or Biakun came up with the plan. But I could dead ass just see Biakun coming up with some a plan like that 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 works that well. I feel like he came up with that plan and basically just really just related to the team and they were just they were just basically able to execute the whole thing like to the T. It doesn't look like the guy that's actually in the barrier though with the flame is actually able to fight. I don't know. No, let me not say able to fight. Um, I don't know if he's uh allowed to fight is more so like what I'm thinking. I also didn't think that you could actually have like a moving base. I feel like that kind of like it's kind of an overpowered uh thing that you can do in a situation like this. But um. Yeah, it's kind of one of those scenarios where it's like moving base, no moving base. I don't think it really makes too much of a difference, especially seeing as he's able to fly. And he's like basically just right there. It's gonna be an interting uh, episode. Uh, I really don't even know how to look at yeah, this. Like I said, probably a, a couple too many times. But anyways, man, hope you guys have been having a great day. Love and appreciate you guys. See you guys soon, man. Peace.